Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a very short special request RPG Maker MV tutorial for Justice Hansen, and he says he needs a clean running way to set weather effects. And uh, I typed a you know a description how to do it, and it wasn't enough detail, so he asked if I could explain in further detail. But instead of writing a paragraph, I'm just going to show you in a video. So. Um, Basically, you're going to go to your common items and you're going to create a, a, a change maximum if you have to. Uh, type in weather controller or anything you like, actually. In the top, you're going to right click insert new. Uh, go to tab one and show text and then ask the player if they want to change the weather. Underneath that, you're going to right click insert new. Uh, show choices. It's right underneath it. And you're going to say uh, light rain, heavy rain, light snow, heavy snow, storm, and none and I'll show you what that looks like right here just like that you'll set the default to 6 and the cancel to 6 it won't really matter but this will just make it easier um, and then underneath the first option for light rain you're gonna right click insert new go to tab 2 and set weather effects uh, on this one we're gonna select rain and drag it down to 1 or 2 whichever your choice we'll probably just go with a 1 we're gonna uncheck wait for completion because we don't want it to lag us while we're waiting for it. And we're going to type in 120 for the duration. That means it's going to take two seconds for this rain to, to switch over to this effect. So if there's no rain, in two seconds there'll be rain. If, there, uh, is a, is, if there's heavy rain or snow, it'll switch within two seconds. But we have this unchecked. That way it doesn't freeze the player for two seconds. Um, once you have that, you're going to right click it and you're going to copy it. Then in the next one, right click and paste in the free slot. Uh, edit this and just drag the power up to 9 and keep everything the same with this unchecked and then you're going to paste it here except now you're going to change rain to snow and drag the power back down to 1 or 2 uh, continuing to uncheck that box and then you're going to paste it again here for heavy snow and you're going to drag that up to 9 for snow same thing for the duration paste it here for storm the only difference you're doing here is you're going to uh, drag it onto storm and then uh, for none you're going to paste this here and you're going to select none for this one and the same duration you can change these durations it's up to you and then that's basically it um, you're going to need an item to control this common event so let's go to our items tab we're going to change maximum if we have to add a weather controller item call it whatever you like give it a description let the player know that this is going to change the weather we're going to set this item to a key item and uh, I, I don't think you'd want it to be consumable so we're going to say no Otherwise, if you use it once, it disappears forever. Uh, scope is none, but the occasion will be menu screen. Unless you have the HemiWorks plugin, the battle weather, you can have it in battle screen and change it in battle, so it's up to you. Um, no damage or invocation, but you're going to go to effects, right click on the free slot and go to edit. Go over to other, go to the bottom where it says common event, and then left click, go to the, all the way to wherever you created the weather controller on that so we're gonna call on this common event in this trade so you click OK and it'll be right here common events the next thing you'll have to do is give it to the player so you can go to your event layer here right click on uh, anywhere and go to quick event creation and then go to uh, treasure chest and then select on item and then we're gonna go over here to the the weather controller item that we just created and we're gonna put that in a treasure chest um, you can also put this on an NPC if you go to the events when you talk to the, uh, the NPC, you can insert new and you can select on change items and award the item that way by just going right here. And there's several other ways to do this as well. You can set it uh, in your database uh, off of one of your enemies. If you uh, make it a, a boss fight or something and you're fighting some crazy storm controlling a boss and after you beat the boss, you can select this as the loot that it's going to drop. It's going to drop the weather controller one out of one or you can have it, oh, there's only 50% chance it could drop. It's up to you. So hopefully this video helped you. Justice Hansen, let me know if you have any more special requests. And uh, thank you guys for watching. If this helped anybody else, give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Um, you guys are great. Thank you for all your support. And we'll see you in the next tutorial.